All right, guys, today I'm working on my chair. I got my old wire spool from my buddy who works at, within a, uh, at a company that just throws these things out. So he talked to them and I was able to get one for free. Uh, you might be able to see, but off camera, I've already decided at what angle I would like the maximum recline to be. So I just have a cross brace. You see there, I got the three screws. Just holding both these in place. Nice solid design. I'm going to come up and even this off with the side here. So, alright. I'll show you guys when I'm, bit, ooh, <laughs> when I'm a bit farther along. Alright, now with my jigsaw, I just cut two notches into the boards here. Into a 2x4 that I had laying around. It's a little beat up, but it's kind of the style I'm going for. So it's coming along great. As we see, it just slides right on. I have it kind of press fitted in now. That side's a little too loose, but it's going to be nailed in or screwed in eventually. So I got that set. That's going to be my main backrest. And I've chosen these boards to turn into the backrest. Uh, I apologize. I can't give you guys a parts list. I'm kind of doing this with what I have. Just trying to make it work, so mind the mess. <laughs> All right, see you guys at the next step. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. I just finished taking out some of these supports, these little round things here. No, they're not really round, they're flat, but what makes the round part, the inside of the spool. I took three of them out to give me a flat area to put this 2x10 that I've cut to length. I'm going to drill some pocket holes right here, put some screws in. Make it right nice to the base, nice and solid. And then I'll get back to you with my next step. All right, I have decided to put some more braces on this back piece that's gonna be the main support for the backrest. As you see, I just have one screw kind of countersunk and drilled in to the uh, base here. I have one on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking, this is the end of a pallet that I've cut up in previous uh, projects and all I did you see that curve there all I did was I just kind of lined up the top and the bottom and just traced the curve and once you get that I cut it out cut it to a usable size and I ended up with something like this and this is just gonna be just an extra support I'm gonna do it for both sides and it's just gonna sit nice right like that I'll sand it to you know perfect fit or whatever but that's going to be another major brace for the back. All right, it's kind of together. I just kind of leaned the back on to try and get a feel of what it's going to look like. And I got to say, I don't like it. Just the thickness of the boards does not match with the rest of it. So I'm going to scrap that idea, save the planks. <clears throat> <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Ugh, I've been talking a lot today. My voice is kind of going. But uh, I'm going to scrap that idea and try and swap it out with some 2x4 that I got that was being heavily discounted at one of the big box uh, DIY stores. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to scrap that idea and I'll show you how the back comes out with the 2x4. Alright, and that's how the back came out. I decided to use 2x4s and the rest of that 2x10 just because I didn't have enough 2x4s to actually finish the entire back. But I like the way it came out. I like how it looks. Everything's nice and sturdy. Everything's well secured. And it's really comfortable. I know you guys can't sit in there right now, but I've sat in it plenty of times. It is really nice. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is down here for the bottom. I have this extra sheet of, extra sheet, this extra piece of 2x4 here. It's split. It was being heavily discounted at one of the big box stores. But what I'm going to be doing is cutting just a little piece off and I'm going to be making a stop for the front so that when you lean forward to get out or just to change angles you can't just roll and fall over. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to turn it into a little thing like a little rung you can hook your feet on 
as well, and then I'll catch up with you guys at that point. All right, this is her. This is the finished product so far. Like I said, I'm still gonna upholster the armrests, but other than that, all the woodworking is complete. Um, I tried figuring out stops to stop you from going forward, but everything I did just didn't look right. So I scrapped that idea, just gave you a little heel rung, little footrest, just a little safety tip. Don't wear sandals in a workshop. It's not a good idea. Right now I'm just doing videos, so that's why I'm doing it. But that's her. Maybe I'll stain her, maybe I won't. It all depends on how I'm feeling. Depends on what I'm going to be using this chair for, whether it'll be indoor or outdoor. But just going to do a final sanding, and this is the completed product. So you'll see this chair once again when I do the upholstery video. But until then, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.